Hello and welcome. On this video, we're going to look at when is velocity and displacement positive or negative. So, first of all, we need to understand the general rule. Displacement is positive when our object is forward above the starting position. And when our object is backward or behind our starting position, we say our displacement is negative. So, displacement depends on the position of the object. So if it's placed above the starting point or forward, it's positive. If it's placed behind or below the starting point, it's negative. Now, velocity depends on the direction the object is moving. If the object is moving forward or right, its velocity is positive. If the object is moving backward or left, its velocity is negative. If the object is not moving, then its velocity is zero. So with that idea, let's look into scenarios. So let's say this is our scenario one. This is our starting point. So let's say SP. So this is our starting point. And we are taking out an object from SP and moving it forward or upward. So let's say our object travels in this direction, in an upward direction. Let's say the object comes here. So, uh, so the object is traveling in an upward direction. Now let's say this is our this is our point A. Now this point A is above the starting point, and in this point A, the object is moving upward. So for point A, our displacement will be positive since it since the object at A is above the starting point. And our velocity will also be positive as the object is moving forward. Now, the object turns around and starts to move backward. Now, the object is moving backward. Now, at this very point, the, when the object turns, basically this, the velocity changes from positive to negative because at this point, the object is moving backward. So, when uh, before the object was moving forward, then the object had to slow down to a stop and then the object started to move backward. So at this position, at this very position, let's call this position B, at this position, our displacement was positive. So for position B, our displacement was positive. Because just like A, at B, the object was above the starting point. But for velocity, it's actually zero because the object is momentarily stationary at point B. Now let's look at another point. Let's make this point point C. Now the object is moving downwards or backwards towards the starting point. Now at this very point, the object is still above the starting point. So for point C, displacement will still be negative. But for velocity, the story is a bit different. Now, initially the object was moving forward, but now at C, the object is moving backward. So as the object is moving backward, so the velocity is actually negative and displacement was positive. Now, the object is moving, is continue, and the object is continuing its motion downwards. So now it reached the starting position on the starting point. At this very point, the object is still moving downwards or backwards. Let's call, let's say this point is point D. So for point D, the displacement is actually zero. Why? So basically the object is placed on the starting point. As a result, our displacement is zero. Also, the velocity for this will be negative, just like at point C, because the object is still continuing to move downwards. Let's say the object is still continuing to move downwards and continue this trend of moving downward. So let's say the object is still moving downward at this point, let's call it point E. So for this point E, our displacement will be negative. Why is that? Because at, at this point E, the object is behind or below the starting point. So our displacement will be negative. The velocity will also be negative because the object is moving backward or downward. 
And now let's say the object is continuing its motion and now makes a turn. And now the object is moving towards the starting point. At this point, the velocity, the object is moving upward or towards the starting point. So let's say this point is F. So for point F, the displacement is still negative. This is because the object is still placed behind or below the starting point. So the displacement is still negative. But for the velocity, it's positive. This is because the object is actually moving forward or upward. So we know if our object moves forward or upward, our velocity is positive. And that was different scenarios that can rise from this kind of situation. Now let's look at, at another different example. Now, for this example, let's say we had a building and from that building, a ball was thrown. So this is a ball, a ball was thrown upwards at an angle. So basically the traje trajectory of the ball will be like this. And the ball will finally fall on the ground. So this is the ground. Let's find, just like the last example, when is our velocity and displacement positive and when it, oh, those are negative. So this is our point A. Before anything, we have to first understand what is our starting position or starting point. Now this is our starting point. As this is our starting point, let's call this whole line, this whole horizontal line as our starting point or starting line. So this is our starting line. Anything above this starting line, displacement is positive. Anything below the starting line, displacement is negative. And if our object is moving upward, even at an angle, our velocity is positive. If our object is moving downward, even at an angle, our velocity is negative. So with that idea, let's begin. So at this point A, our object is above the starting line. So at point A, our object is above the starting line. So our displacement is actually positive. Now, our velocity is also positive because our object is actually moving upward at an angle. Now, let's find, let's say this is our point B, and at point B, it reaches a maximum height. Now, when an object in a projectile motion like this reaches a maximum height, at that height, the velocity becomes zero because at this point, the velocity was, the object was moving upward and the velocity was slowly decreasing due to the acceleration of gravity. And at a point B, it reaches zero. And after zero, the object starts to fall downwards. So at point zero, point B, the velocity is actually zero. But the displacement is still positive because the object is still above the starting line. So displacement is still positive, but the velocity is zero. Now let's say this is our point C. At point C, the object is placed above the starting line, just like before. So if it's placed above the starting line, its displacement is actually positive and its velocity is actually negative. And the reason for that is, at this point, the object is actually, actually moving downwards at an angle. It was moving upwards at an angle at position A, it was stationed at position B, and now it is uh, moving downwards at position C. In fact, any, any point after B, the object is moving downwards. So our velocity is negative. Now let's say this is our point D. This is a point D. So for point D, our displacement is actually negative. And the reason for that is at this point D, our object is actually behind or below the starting line. So we know if our object is behind or below the starting position, we can consider the displacement to be negative. And for velocity is also negative because the object at point D is moving downwards. So as it is moving downwards, the velocity is negative. So the object will come to a standstill or basically fall on the ground at this point, basically. And so 
we don't have to consider anything after this. These were the few possibilities that can happen with displacement and velocity. And it's necessary to understand when is displacement positive and when is when displacement is negative and for velocity when velocity is positive and velocity is negative. So hopefully that was helpful and that is all for this video.